Hello, everybody. Rotherham United Footy here, and today it is time for another match day experience here on Rotherham United Footy Channel. Two weeks ago, we took on Middlesbrough at Riverside Stadium and we drew nil nil there, which was a good point away from home. Over the last two weeks, with international breaks and lots of club managers have left, including our manager Paul Warren and his background staff have left the club to go to Derby County, which everyone was really sad about and emotional, even I were as well. And it's been a long time without our football, it seems to anyway. But anyway, the football is back. Today is a trip to the New York Stadium. To, it is Rotherham United taking on Wigan Athletic today at three o'clock kickoff. It's nearly a sellout today at New York Stadium. And my score prediction, I think we'll win 2-1 today. I think um, Connor Washington and um, West Herding will score again. Hopefully, anyway. Crazy month for October fixtures now, isn't it? And into November with World Cup approaching and all that. There is one game I can't make this month, which is Stoke away because I'm away on holiday. I will have to make an important announcement on the Blackburn video next Saturday about the Uddersfield video about. But there's nothing to worry about because I'm still going to it anyway. But it's just me uploading it, bit of a delay, that's all. So, anyway then guys, uh, enjoy the video and I will see you all in a bit. Going down. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Going down.
arriving at Grand Main Exit Draw. Wait. Wigan players are coming out. some warming up exercises Okay, we have a special guest here, Rusty. Turn it to your score prediction against Wigan today. 3 0 today, Tom. Who's going to score? Og Benny and 2 for Washington. Thank you very much, mate. Well, obviously, the NES single up at New York Stadium, the home of Rotherham United for this high bench reaching fixture. It's the Villers versus Hull United. Hull United have been playing well this afternoon. Number 
number 10, Will King. Number 11, James McLean. Number 16, Curtis Tillett. Number 20, Lakeford Corbett. And number 13, Phil Asgard. And on the bench for Wigan this afternoon, number one, Shane Jones. Number 15, the Jason Kerr. Number 18, the Graham Shield. Number 21, the Joe Bennett. Number 23, the Ashley Fletcher. Number 27, the Daniel Eric Webb. And number 28, Josh Pierce. And now if you bring over the final yourself on the trail in Royal Mountains. You've got all the rest of the world in the middle of the world, Victor Johnson. Number two, sponsored by Cascade Trailers West Harding. Number three, sponsored by our Wayward Stoker, Cameron Brillow. Number four, sponsored by our Rapid Skips. Number six, our captain, sponsored by Eric Twinkford and Richard Ward. Number eight, sponsored by Eli Group, Ben Wiles. Number ten, sponsored by Kimi Hilton and Skincare Specialist, Brooke Mountain Coffee. Number eleven, sponsored by Cassia James, Chiara. Number 18, sponsored by Leon Nether and Sons, Ollie Rathbone. And number 21, sponsored by Tony Manco, Lee Cartier. It's not, it's number 20, Rick Ball. And on the bench for the Bears on this afternoon. Number 31, sponsored by the Security Mirror of Josh Wenders. Number 7, sponsored by the Ella and Ella Bennett, Scott Pye. Number 9, sponsored by the Richard Roebuck, Tom Eames. Number 12, sponsored by the Morgan's Electrical, Georgie Penn. Number 16, sponsored by the Ella and Ella Bennett, Jimmy Lindsay. Number 17, sponsored by the Morgan's Electrical, Shane Ferguson. Number 16, sponsored by the Morgan's Electrical, Shane Ferguson. And number 24, sponsored by Harry Oak, let's go then, Cameron Humphreys. How much did we get nerfed in for?
Now today we have our four teams playing in the Premier League Primary Stars Cup. The teams are Wales versus Mountain Redwood and Flamewell versus Wigglesley St. Albans. Please give them a warm welcome and good luck to all the teams. We'll be back shortly with today's draws, but first let's hear from our sponsors. Championship game here at the SCL at New York Stadium. Teams are going on Wednesday in the 5th of October with a kickoff at 7 45 pm. Teams are priced from £24 adults with a range of concessions prices available and there will be price increases from 5 pm on the day of the game. The Miller's also have a major Skybet Championship game away at Ewood Park. It's against Blackburn Rovers and as on Saturday the 8th of October. Kickoff is at 3 pm. Tickets are priced at £25 for adults and tickets for this fixture are on general sale. They'll go off sale at 4 pm on Friday the 7th of October.
Making substitution, sponsored by Casey and Waste Management, coming off number nine at Charlie White. Being replaced by number 20, Josh Lewis. Also coming off for wing at number 30, Philo Asgard. Being replaced by number 27, Tendai Beriqua.
Wiggins is pressing, brings it down to Sotio. But it's been a bad match, wasn't it, Rusty? It was, Tom, yeah. Bad referee. Very, very bad, we were. Second defeat of the season, not too bad. Yeah. But anyway, we should move on to Millwall on Wednesday at yeah. home. Hopefully, it should be a bit better. Yeah, hopefully, better than today, Tom. And then. And hopefully, the referee's better than today. I don't well. think we're going to get out at Blackburn, are we? Probably Next. not. And then, Uddersfield, we best must win them. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for your report, mister. No worries, Tom. Yes, on level two. Oh, see you Wednesday then, Hello guys, it's time to end this match day experience from yesterday. Well, unfortunately, yesterday we have lost 2-0 to Wigan Athletic yesterday, which I was very disappointed about. So, yes, yeah, so yesterday we travelled in the car to Montessori Carbot in Rotherham and then we had a nice steady walk to the ground. And I got myself a grogram, here it is. Here's the front and the back. And then we walked along the car park at New York Stadium and went straight into the ground at 10 past 2, watch both teams warming up, listen to team news announcements and all that. Players come out and what do I think to the game? I thought it was a really tough game yesterday, to be honest. Proper tough on us. Wigan decided to be tough on us yesterday for some reason. And in first half, Wigan scored by Will Crane. He scored in first half. Um, we could have scored in middle at first half, but unluckily and then we got to half time on Neil Wigan and then second half we didn't improve at all we was really tough yesterday we were a lot of booming in all sorts yesterday and our Wigan second scorer was by Tom Layla Tom Layla he was called so, yeah, so we were all disappointed yesterday. We could have been 3 0 down by Wigan yesterday. Did we look like scoring yesterday? No, we didn't. So, anyway, we, we didn't even clap him yesterday because I was that frustrated. So, yes, um, after full time, we headed back to the car park and then I went home, basically. This month is a big month for Rotherham. It's about eight games, and now we've got seven more games in October. So let me explain the fixtures list for now. We've got Millwall at home on Wednesday night. Next Saturday, we're away at Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. And then the Saturday 15th of October, we're at home to Uddersfield. Uh, 18th of October, at Stoke away at Bet365 Stadium, which I won't be going to it. 
because I'm away on holiday. 22nd of October, we've got Hull City at home. And then followed by two away games in a row. Well, three in a row, actually, because we've got Coventry away and trip to Cardiff City away. Well, and after that, into November, barely away. So, anyway then, guys, uh, that is it for this video. Um, Please like and subscribe to Rotherham United Footy. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all on Wednesday night when we take on Millwall. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time on Rotherham United Footy Channel. Peace.